Hello and welcome. We will start by seeing the definition of content negotiation. After that, we will see some concepts like accept others, the quality factor and the serialization settings. Finally, we will see how it works and how to invoke the content negotiation from our code. So what is content negotiation? It is the process of selecting the best representation for a given response when there are multiple representations available, which means that, for example, a server can return XML, JSON or binary, but it must select just one, the best representation, to give you a response. Why we say this is a negotiation? Because sometimes the client requests, for example, XML and the server cannot give you XML for some reason. So there must be a negotiation between the client and the server. And the request headers used for content negotiation are the accept, the accept charge set, accept encoding and finally accept language. The first one gives us the answer to which media types are acceptable for the response. For example, if the client accepts application JSON or application XML and so forth, the accept char set says what the client understands, UTF-8, UTF-16 and so forth, the encoding if the client for example understands gzip and finally the accept language is the preferred natural language if the client wants the response in Italian, French, German or whatever. This is an example of requesting something in XML, so we say here accept application slash XML and we receive XML. The next example is for the same request, but instead of XML is JSON, so we receive JSON. To be clear, in a request like this one where we say content type application slash XML, we are actually saying that we are sending to the server XML, not asking from the server XML. The response in the absence of accept will be application slash JSON because it's the default for web API. Now let's do some code example for accept language. Here in our hello world, the idea is to create an action method that will return greetings in the language requested by the user. Okay, so to do that, we need resource files. Project, right click, and we choose add a new folder. We call it resources. Inside of this folder, we create a new item that is a resource file and we call this resource file greetings. We add, we go to the greetings file and in the name property we say that this hello and the value is hello welcome. Now let's create another resource file. We can just copy and paste, rename the file. In this case we will create another file for Portuguese, so pt PT. We need to change the content. So we go here and instead of the value to be hello welcome, it will be hola bem vindo. We save, we close and the resource files are ok. Now we go to the content negotiation controller. This is a controller that I created for this video. It already has a class employee ok, and it has the action method that I used in the examples of the slides. Now let's create after this one another action method for our greetings. So we say public string get greetings and inside of this first we need to get the accept language property. We say var lang is equals to request dot adders dot accept language and we need to make this a string so to string. Then we declare var culture is equals to culture info. We need to import system globalization dot create specific culture. 
and we pass the string language. After this, we can call the resources dot greetings dot culture, and we say that the culture is equals to the culture that we just created, like this. And then, after this, we just have to return resources dot greetings dot hello. Let's run this and let's test. We go here to the postman and we say here API slash content negotiation slash get greetings and in the headers we say that we accept language PT PT. So we send the request and we get Olá, bem-vindo. If we don't send this, we get the default one, the hello, welcome. Just to review what we just did, first we had to create resources, then we had to create a action method get greetings, where we get the language from accept language, then we created a new culture, okay, with that language, and then we set the configuration of resource greetings culture to have the culture that we just created. After that, we just had to return the resources greetings hello, and then we we just add to make our call and get our response. The next part is the quality factor. In the accept headers we can specify a quality factor. It's a number between 0 and 1 and it expresses what the user prefers. For example, we have in this accept application JSON and application XML. The JSON have a quality factor of 0 0.4 and the XML have a quality factor of 0 0.5. The XML will gain because it's the highest one, okay? Also, the quality factor is optional. You, you don't need to use that. So, if no value is provided for the quality factor, the default value will be 1.0, the highest one. Here we have two examples, the first one where the JSON have a quality factor of 0 0.4 and XML the quality factor of 0 0.5, so we get XML. In the other scenario, we have a quality factor for JSON of 0 0.6 and for XML 0 0.5, so we get JSON. Serialization settings. Sometimes we can specify how Web API will serialize the result. An example for JSON to be formatted as camel case. To do that, we go to the My Configuration under Configuration Folders of Hello World Project, and in the Register method, we get the JSON formatter like this: config.formatters.json formatter, and then we access the serializer settings, Contract Resolver of JSON formatter, and we create a camel case property names Contract Resolver with this code before we get something like this, a JSON with name, age and gender all starting with uppercase and after using this setting name, age and gender starts with lowercase because it's the way how camel case work. So how content negotiation works. The first thing he do is getting the iContent Negotiator service from HTTP configuration object. After that, it calls the negotiate method from iContent Negotiator, passing the type of object to serialize, the HTTP request and the collection of media type formatters. These media type formatters came from HTTP configuration dot formatters. The result of this negotiate method is the media type formatter to use plus the media type for the response, the MIME type, okay? We talk about media type formatters and a more technical definition for content negotiation would be content negotiation is a mechanism used to determine which media type formatter is going to be used to serialize the API response. It has a lot of media type formatters and it will choose one. Media type formatters are a future topic, so stay tuned. 
Invoke content negotiation. In this part, we will do a code example where we will call the content negotiator from our code. So here in the code, I already created this action method, get employee. It will return a HTTP response message. Let's import system.net.http. Inside of it, I create an employee and just return null. So let's do the code. First, we need to get the negotiator. So var negotiator is equals to configuration dot services dot get content negotiator. Then we can invoke the negotiate. So it will return a result. So we declare here a result and is equals to negotiator dot negotiate and we pass what we just saw in the slides. The type of employee, the type that we will return, the request, the HTTP request, and finally the configuration.formatters, the formatters available for this. Then we can just return a new HTTP response message where the content is equals to new object content of employee and we pass the employee the result dot formatters and finally the result dot media type okay just this so let's test this example let's run let's go to the postman and send our request to get employee and we get this response okay name john age 36 and gender m now let's do something else i want to return also the available media type formatter so we need to encapsulate this employee in a let's call this um, private class test where we have a prop equals to employee is the employee another prop that is a string and is available formatters just that Okay, and here instead of just having an employee, we have a var test is equals to new test, and we say that the employee is equals to the employee that we just created. Okay, after this, we have to pass this test object here test. It will receive a object of type test and 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 here to uh, object of type test. We pass here the object test and we need to get the formatters. So we go here and we say that test.available formatters is equals to string.join. We pass the separator and we pass the configuration.formatters. Just like that. So now we can run this again and send our request again. And we get the employee and the available formatters. We have a formatter for JSON media type formatter, another for XML media type formatter. The next one is for form URL encoded media type formatter. Next, jQuery MVC form URL encoded formatter. And finally, a Bison media type formatter. In our code example, we got the negotiator from configuration.services.getContentNegotiator. After that, we called the negotiate method, passing the type of object that we want to serialize, the HTTP request, and the configuration.formatters, the available formatters for these. After that, we just had to return a new HTTP response message where the content is equals to a new object content where we have the object to serialize the employee, the formatters that we got from the this result and the media type that we got from this result. This is the end and as always thank you for watching.